Hey, I'm back with another live stream. Back with Hogwarts Legacy. Quite a good game. <clears throat> oh, I'll get through there somehow. Oh, I'm going to Do 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 do. Open. Defense against the dark arts tower. Travel broadens the mind. The field guide, the field guide map shows Professor Heckert's class in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get lost in this castle. I may need to. I may need to use the charmed compass. Field guide to help me find the way. Oh, the so same looking that way. Good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. <coughs> Today, I'm going to review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso! <coughs> Levioso! <laughs> wow! <coughs> Go left, Go right. Up, down, left, right, triangle. Now, let's try something a little larger. Hello. A little larger. You want cocaine? It's not a little bit larger, it's like 20 times the fucking size. <coughs> Deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Levioso. So, now, the basic cast. to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh, shit. I've got half my controls. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. Protego. 
complicates things. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. I know. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Not <laughs> you're not gonna lie. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Yay. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand but why is excellence from my are students. Actually blowing they up? are capable of achieving it, <clears throat> and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Mm. All right. Let us in that spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Huh. Always oh, thought Leviosa was the first Not anymore. Luma, nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that <coughs> duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. <coughs> Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere Ooh, I'm gonna break some laws. We'll see if I your performance sure. today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. How nice to see you, my young friend. I'm just looking at the map. The map just tells me where to go. So there's this little golden line in front of me. <coughs> So back in the bubble, wait there. No, the charms class is above us. Ah, uh, probably the same thing, just different class. Behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the 
color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt <laughs> objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a <clears> lot <throat> of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you seem to have the basic <laughs> one person does it. That's enough of that. Day, I was thinking. We might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Don't have with doing brooms already. I don't think we are, but. I hope not. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, <clears throat> as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so! What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres. Akio, relinquish your charm. Excellent. Stay full. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead, splendid! Don't lose your composure. Very good. Not to worry. Well, Very good. <laughs> Points to her. Gryffindor. <laughs> but there's yeah. certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. <laughs> I just got zero and I have to do a challenge. Let us do it. That is how it's done. Yes, I got pause on. What's this? I didn't let go. There we go. <laughs> well, it doesn't let go. Honestly, it smells so bad. I don't like this spell. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we?
<laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see <laughs> this. I will get you back for that. Watch this. Come. Come. Get off. Damn it. Oh no, she got this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, big problem. Could be an 18. I think my truck is probably done. Just gonna wait for this one quick. I know everyone is happy. Try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. Yeah, it's a great ah, track among our backhand you. <clears throat> Very good, both of you. Well done. <clears throat> Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. I'm just going to spam the stations. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Yeah. But oh, it never she's... seemed intimidating or <clears throat> overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Oh, let's go. Until one next viewer. Time. Of course, three years. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Oh my well, god. An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. 
Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Uh, I'm pretty sure my one viewer left. Yeah. Oh, I thought that girl was not listening. No. Get out. Leviosa! Accio! Lumos. Open the bus log. Aha! So then I'm a vendu. Hello there. You're the new student Yep. Uh bye bye. See you later. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Run boy, run. I run like a spacky. That's a nice bridge, do you remember this one Oh, I think that's bruised, is that Quidditch? No, that's Quidditch. Inconvenient travel was before I knew. Accio. Levioso. Lumos. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Protego. Lumos. Revelio. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. I've got and the control plug to lighten so things up. Die this the time. winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. If your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Fireworks? What? I don't want to blow up. We'll make you regret signing up. I have to take both of these by myself. I've got to use Protego. Refrigerator shoes and control spells. Mm -hmm. 
That looks painful. Care to try another round? Right. Yes. Uh, yeah, my Don't count me out there. yet. Brilliant. Get up, you nice Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Try to do some. <coughs> no, I don't want to go to fast travel. Because after this, I've done this cross tier, I'm going to get a drink and I'll be back. I'm dying for a drink. Step. 
Let's go. Revelio. Revelio, where are you? Revelio. Just right here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, hello. the room, Professor. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Hey, I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Little bitch. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Oh, now, quest. regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Let's go. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust Yay. no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, right, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, I'm gonna finish this quest because that wasn't really a quest. I just kind of have to listen to him. Where have I gotta go? I keep 
just want to be part of my chin. said ancient magic crew, but I don't really care. Ah, oh, there yeah. you are. Potato! You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Fashion this is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. A flying page yeah. must be around here somewhere. Just saw it. Where'd it go? You told me a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation, and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high, got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Right then. Can I go now? Got a snow, I think. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There's one. Let me also. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Oh, 
Laptop essen noch. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, it's got heaps of time coming down the ladder. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Right. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <clears throat> oh my god, why do I keep going up? Hello. I was not expecting that. <laughs> ding dang boom. Ding, ding, I'd ding, better ding, keep an eye on high ding. places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ding dang <laughs> On the roof. Oh, hello, love. Didn't see you there. I don't think I'm getting that one on the roof. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for some of these gobstones. It is here about the center of the room. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Right then. How far away is my. What are you up to now? Ooh, Yeah, I'm um, fast traveling. Right, I'm in here. I gotta go. Like, down here. I'm just gonna fast travel there. Uh -oh. 
and save me walking around the thing. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? <laughs> I'm only teasing. Of course you can have them. Oh, thank Merlin. You had me worried there. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Goodbye. Oh, I've got this side quest. I've got one assignment. Guess I'll do that plan. I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. I wrote to the platform. Oops. That's it. Very good. Repairer. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Revelio. No, okay. no, I keep pressing that one. Professor Weasley has a range tree to visit the nearby village of Hogsmeade. I replaced my loss of plus. I should be able to wake up. I'm gonna have to go there. Uh, uh, navigate. I should be able to navigate to different shops using my map. Natty Omei. Onai. Onai. Omei. Um. Well, keep me company on the way. I'll try to get that one. 
Hello. Right. Looking for me? Thank you. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better. I'll grab my phone. Let's go. <laughs> the timing of <sighs> Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. How nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, complete it, Professor Vernon's Oh, assignment. wait, over here. Learned repairer, I met I up with Natalie. It's time to head area. to the whole Oh, maze. what's Hopefully. so special about them? Okay. They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Look, from a forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Oh, so fast it. Oh my god, that's fizzy. <coughs> yeah, guys, I've just got a drink delivered to me, so I don't have to go get a drink. So. Absolutely. Wait, I want to get this flag, uh, fire flying thing. That's a forbidden I don't get one in the It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professor's climate <sighs> is too dangerous. <laughs> I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Hello. Pass that room. So fast, eh? <coughs> oh, excuse me. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. Oh, I will it? say. Well, I so certainly see, learned like a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Rebellion. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting well, I'm not even things. turning, I'm just holding what forward nothing. You? I'm Do not doing anything. Settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. <laughs> Mr. Moon! 
He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fit here? Huh? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Uh -huh. Oh, it looked right at me. <coughs> as Jesus Christ. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy dies. Dougly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Rebellion. Here we are. It is hard to know where to start. But I believe the I have three to go here first. is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. I'll get the slipstream. <laughs> Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Uh, cheers, Chazza. How did we go in there? Alright then. Um, so I do need to go here. Cross the road I go. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? No, boy, that's free. But that'll if do it, that's free. <sighs> feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Expensive much? This one's 400 and 500, I think 750, and that's about it. Ah. 
I want to go to Ollivander's last. Bro, no wonder why my guy's not fat. Look how much running around he has to do just to go from bloody shop to shop, Hogwarts and back. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well... Harry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I don't really care about any of it, Magic's neat. No, I have to go there. Oh, Quidditch gloves already? Might just have to do Quidditch soon. Uh oh. Oh, you stop running. Let me oh, I built that. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. <sighs> oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. <laughs> Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. My knees Not everyone bro. has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neat. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty Bye. of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. I don't like you. Okay. No, no, no. Standing still jump from there. Right. Just put there. And I land over here. Like, seriously, this kid is so good at jumping. Like, I don't understand.
I believe Ollivander's is here. Yeah. So there's Ollivander's. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. No, no, um, no, not you. Ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. We're ten and a half yeah. small, Give this one a try. <laughs> Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. Bro, that's like oh, eight inches. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Yeah, not, I don't think that's the right one. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Bro, oh, that's even smaller than the last one. It just looks like a tree branch. Twig, however. Oh, I don't think that's the right one either. To the shelf for you. <sighs> This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. No such ones in the yes. top. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Awful unicorn hair, yeah, yeah, eleven and a half. That looks tiny. Curious indeed. Well, this looks like that elder wand. So that one a little bit. How intriguing! I like this one. <laughs> Curious indeed. How intriguing. All right, what's this? I don't see the difference in it. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. A dragon heartstring that serves a, as the core of a, of a wand, known for producing powerful magic. Hmm. A uh, the hair of a unicorn serves a core of a wand, known for producing constant magic. And faithful to its owner. The feather of a phoenix that serves as one capable of producing great range of... Well, I don't normally do range fights. I normally spam and to be powerful. So I'm gonna go with a dragon, the dragon heart heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Oh, it's just like it. Curious indeed. Yeah, I think I, I just like this kind of style of what it. What do you think? Push it. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. 
Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Let's go. Time to get my one. Yeah, look, this, this is quite complicated. I know it's for like these. But look, repair is instant. Right, no, it's something that is the whole instant. It's because I'm not actually doing this Repair. Repair the food. <laughs> Hello. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. What's going on? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Don't worry, guys, I've got him. Draw it away from the building. Away from the building. Come on, we've got to chase it down. No, we've got to fight this one. Watch that one, thank you. Come on, Hen. Oh, well, I got dodge. Oh, no. No, I can't use potato pumps. I was trying to beat him at his own game. Oh my god. Troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll? 
by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they oh, were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repairer. Oh, hello there. A moment if you would. I will see what he wants. See what Charlie in the chocolate factory wants. We were just talking about you. Thank you. Right. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia uh. Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. And as I... Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Oh, I should take no, I can't be bothered. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, I'll do that. Oh, no, no. All right, all right. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be Shut up. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leave. But guys, I'm going to end the video here, because, yeah, and hopefully I'll be on tomorrow. Good. Bye. 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 Bye.